we now have all three of the character color designs of the main characters for Yashahime. So now I'm going to be reading off the translations and discussing about their appearances. Now these translations were done by us, they are in no way the official ones, so they might be um, a little rough around the edges, but we did our best, so I do hope you enjoy. Inuyasha and Kagome's daughter, Moroha's colors are released for the first time. 14-year-old bounty hunter for Kuni Kazubi Niyashi. If she puts on red lipstick, she will become the Crimson Night Demon of National Destruction and Rampage. Her personality is cheerful and open-hearted. In fact, Inuyasha and Kagome's daughter, Demon Sword Kurakuramaru, Moroha's sword has a similar power as Inuyasha's Bakuruyuha, Backlash Wave. Hers is also called Koryuha, Red Dragon Destructive Strike. It emits the red flame of a dragon and eliminates the enemies. A dragon is carved on the blade. She also has a bow like her mother. Sishomaru's daughter, Higurashi Toa, a 14-year-old female junior high school student who is good at martial arts, attempting to return to the Warring States era. Weapon setting for Toa Higurashi, the daughter of Sishomaru, has been unveiled for the first time. A mysterious sword whose blades are shaped by the power of Kikuju, Monji, and Wawa. The sword pressure released with the greatest mysterious power becomes a blue dragon and crushes the enemy. Kikujuji, Onsen Business, Elementary School. Setsuna, the daughter of Sishomaru, I am reunited with my sister Toa in a modern time, when I was in a time slip, but I don't believe it because I don't remember when I was young. Calm, a member of the Yokai Extermination Shop. The first set of weapons for Setsuna, the daughter of Sishomaru, a battle-type single-legged sword that is also used by Kohaku and Setsuna. Its speciality is swallow swarming, where a swarm of swallows gives off a sword light that cuts through the sky. Tomoe of Kanemetsu. Now, Maruha looks perfect. A lot of the fandom already figured out quickly that she would be wearing red and have black hair. Also, being quarter demon, it made that even more clear that it would be the case. I love the concept of the bow on her hair as it resembles dog ears in a way. Uh, she definitely has her father's looks and attitude. Uh, the smaller forelocks, too, and definitely Kagome's eyes. It could also remember, um, if you remember human Inuyasha's eye color, if it isn't... Kagome's eye color, it could be human Inuyasha's eye color, because in human form, there's like an amber gray, which is also a different type of brown from Kagome's, so really her eye color could be Kagome's or even human Inuyasha's. Toa and Setsuna absolutely remind me of yin and yang. Uh, I think a lot of us already knew that Toa would have the white hair and Setsuna would have the black hair, just based on the first promotional art that we were given. The red stripes and eye colors really surprised me, but Takahashi always is known for giving us beautiful character designs. I also want to note that the red and bluish purple for sure came from Sishomaru's demon birthmarks, if you take a look at a picture of his face. Though they have not announced who the mother is, it would appear that Rin is most likely to be, especially with the twins' faces and Setsuna's hair color, which is like an off black brown, like Rin's. It does seem like they won't announce who the mom is as a marketing thing. They want us all to be on edge about it, possibly being Rin, to grab our attention, uh, to be well alert a lot um, on top of any update that comes our way. Um, this sequel is really a big deal to the fans, and it's like a dream coming true. Um, I can really see these characters having their own different transformations, and I'm curious when and how they would happen. I am very pleased with the character designs that were created by Rumiko Takahashi herself. Uh, thank you for listening.